So I must tell you, you are standing in one of the best spaces in Accra. Because this space, if you look to your right, you see history. You look to your left, you see modern Accra. And you look backwards, and you see the ocean. Where in Accra do you see the ocean? We seem to have turned our backs to the ocean. It's Richard Ketley who saw the light and said, Joe, no matter what you do, I'm going to have this show in this space because I want to be able to see the ocean and feel the breezes so they can impact right, how we perceive this art because this is my last sheet will move around a bit. So Richard, thanks for seeing the light and thank God that I followed you. <laughs> I followed you in the process. So, like Manuela, please share with us the inspiration. What's, what's behind this? So, as many of you who heard earlier, I travel a great deal, so I'm always seeing lots of places. And whenever I go to a place, I find somewhere like Jamestown. I don't stay in, the, in that town, I come and find the village, the old part of town. But I also see the city from the sky because I spend a lot of time in an aeroplane. And I'm also very interested in abstract art. So what I try and do in these paintings is create something which is both an abstract painting. If you look at it, you can see simply an abstract painting. But you can also look at it as a drawing. You can see in it the underlying image is actually an aerial photograph of, of Jamestown. So if you look very carefully, you can see the pier. You can see the shape of the boats from the sky. And this is the first thing I see of Accra as I fly in. But I also come and sit on the street here drinking a beer in Jamestown. And so it's trying to combine these three views of the world. The view from the sky, the view from the street, and the view of a modern abstract painter. And what I do is work on these, uh, this is drafting film, which is a translucent medium. So not only are we giving you three different things to look at, an abstract painting, the picture from the sky, a drawing, but you can also see it, the behind of it. You can look from it at behind, and you can decide whether you like this side or that side. Sometimes people see all sorts of things in these paintings, uh, and sometimes they see it as an abstract painting. And the idea is that it never fully resolves itself, that you should be able to sit here in a chair or on the floor with a glass of wine or something else and look at it, and the longer you look at it, the more you'll see different things. So instead of giving someone a simple image of something that's recognizable that will last for a few minutes, you're sitting at this thinking, what has this guy done? How has he made this such a mess? And you can be, look at this for quite a long time, and when you get tired of looking at this side, you can turn it around and look at the other side. So I'm very glad some of you are walking behind the pictures. There's no right side, there's no one way of reading these images. You can read them as, as you want. The space, as Joe mentioned, to me is a very special space because it is such an old space, such a classic space. And these images, as you can see, they move slightly in the wind. They're not a dead thing hung on a wall. They're a living image. And this room and this gallery is for me the perfect space to create these living images, works that move as we do through the world. And that is not just on the wall as a static image. So please walk around, look at them from both sides, decide what you want to see. If you want to see a map, see a map. If you want to see an abstract painting, see an abstract painting. If you want to see uh, an image of James Sun, it is there as well. So, and if you want to see dogs, cats, I'm very surprised at what some people see, but please tell me what you see. Thank you very much. Thank you.